nice bit made in his classical book Megatrends, uh, the point that large scales change occurs only when there's a convergence of two phenomena. A new need and a new means to meet that need. We're there now. The needs are manifest and we have had an extraordinary, the biggest change that has occurred since the 1930s in our society has been the information technology and the communication technology mutation that has been exploding around the world over the last 20 years. This is the new means and I would make the claim that most of the modern complementary currency systems wouldn't have existed, wouldn't have been created unless we had such technologies available today. So, but there is also the element of need in another layer, dimension. We're dealing with a value shift. The nemesis of our civilization, of our global civilization, will be the crisis that we are creating in our ecology. The planetary warming, or actually misnomer in my viewpoint, I would say climate change is a better description because it could take many forms, will spell the doom of our species uh, and certainly of a large part of the numbers in that species if we don't change it. It's a relationship issue. Our money system has been isolating us from relationships. We're dealing with an extreme young construct where relationship is not relevant. When you have a commercial exchange, I pay you with national money, the transaction is complete. We don't need any connectivity beyond that. We've done the same thing with the environment, with nature. It's only a resource, actually usually given for free to anybody or any business that can exploit it. So we need to create relationship type currencies, yin currencies as I call them. And these have emerged already, we have the prototypes available. We can create currencies that increase the relationships between people in a non-commercial way. We can create currencies that make collaboration between, multi, between the non-profit organizations, the whole millions of non-profits, NGOs, non-government organizations as they are called. Currently and these entities are struggling or competing with each other for national money. They can't collaborate beyond a certain point because of that. We can create a world in which they would play that role, the role of businesses in the, in the competitive world, they could be playing the same organization role in a yin space. So imagine what it would make as a difference. We can create currencies that actually make us responsible for environmental resources, make us more sensitive to it. Water currencies, learning currencies, energy reduction currencies. All these things are currently in the process of being developed. Let's use them. And we'll get in a very different place rather quickly. <laughs>